Le'Veon, there's a lot of buzz here in Indianapolis. Guys are looking forward to seeing you run. Uh, obviously, had a very productive uh, junior season. What do you want to accomplish this week? Um, I just want to prove, prove a lot of people wrong. Uh, a lot of guys look at me like I'm big and um, slow, um, but um, you know I just want to go out there and prove, prove people wrong. Um, you know, once I weighed in and everybody seen I had six like percent body fat, you know that opened a lot of people's eyes. And um, now I just want to go out there and run and. Um, and do my shuttle and show them how quick I am and do good in the position drills and you know just show what I can do. And you checked into 230 pounds, so they're going to be able to see the guy that ran away from people and can hit the ball 50, 60 yards. Yes, most definitely. Um, you know, I'm in the best shape of my life now. Um, you know, I feel a lot lighter, a lot quicker, a lot more explosive, faster. You know, so I'm, I'm just ready to you know, show everybody what I'm, what I'm able to do. Also, when they talk about they, they talk about you being a big back, but it's almost like they, they don't acknowledge the fact that you're a complete back. If you've talked to some of the other people here, they've talked about your ability to protect the passer, your ability to catch the football in the backfield. And earlier in your career, you're even a kick returner. Are you kind of looking forward to showing your versatility? Yeah, most definitely. Um, like I said, I, I want to show people that I'm not just a first and ten runner. I'm not just a third and one runner. I'm not just I, I'm a, all, every day every down back. You know, I can play on third and ten too. So, um, you know, I can run routes. Um, I can get open. I can protect the protect the quarterback, um, wherever it what comes to him. And I can play special teams, you know. So um, I just want to show everybody uh, how good overall I am. And I'm not just one-dimensional. And, um, you know, I'm just ready to get back out there. So, How much does it help you coming from a pro-style offense? You've flexed out before like a wide out. You've played, obviously, the tailback position. But they've used you in so many different ways. Will that ease in that transition to the next level? Yeah, most definitely. Um, you know, NFL, just like our offense, you know, they might use different terminology or, you know, different – you no know, words for plays, but you know it's all the same thing. And um, you know I feel like Michigan State helped me out with that a lot because um, it's stuff I've already been through, and I know how it looks, and, and I don't have to adjust to a whole new offense. You know I just got to adjust to new words and personnel. You know, so um, that's, I feel like Michigan State helped me out a lot with that. Coach Antonio obviously some, saw something special with you. Go out as an All-American, set all kinds of rushing records a year ago. Talk about your relationship with Coach D and what he means to you. Uh, Coach D is like a father figure to me. Um, you know, he just called me earlier this morning um, just to check on me and um, to see how I was doing, you know. Um, regardless of how, if I left or um, if I stayed, you know, he was always going to be happy for me, a decision I made, because, um, you know, it's my personal decision and, um, and I do it for a reason, you know. So he always supported me, uh, whatever I did, and, um, you know, and I, I'm glad for it. And, um, and I, to have Coach D in my life um, is always something meaningful to me. So, Have you had a chance to reflect on your career yet? Are there any moments that really stick out to you? Um, it's a lot of moments. Um, you know, you got the Notre Dame my freshman year, um, the Little Giants play. Um, you got Mousetrap, no, uh, Northwestern. Um, you got the Hail Mary, uh, Wisconsin, my sophomore year. I mean, it's so many plays. You got the game-winning field goal with Dan Conroy at TCU. Um, you know, so it's, it's so many plays I can look back on, and um, in so many years I can look back on, and you know, so many practices even. So um, I'm just happy with every moment I had there. Um, you know, now that it's over, you know, I look back on it. They're happy memories, and I still love my teammates and everything. So, uh, I'm, I'm happy about everything. What will you miss most about the Spartan football Saturday experience? Um, the fans, you know, the the, the college excitement, um, you know, the night games, you know, things like that. You know, uh, it's something I won't ever be able to go back to. You know, having not 85,000 people go crazy, uh, but at the same time, you know, taking my talent to you know where I. Where my dream was, and that's in the NFL. And um, you know, I'm happy with my decision, you know, but it had to end sometime, and it's ended a little early. Lost well, five Big Ten games a year ago by just 13 points. The team's awfully close to being back in that contention again. How do you feel about the team heading into next year? I'm, I'm so confident in us, you know. Um, you know, we get, we're gonna have running backs um, coming in and you know replace me. You know, whether they do it by committee or, committee or as one person, you know, uh, you know those guys they're gonna get it done. And um, the defense is always gonna be good you know those guys always do their thing and um, you know so I, I'm confident in our team you know hopefully we get in the, the preseason top 25 but if not um, you know last time we were rank a preseason we finished we got to you know top five you know so um, regardless of where we rank or preseason um, I'm confident that you know the team will be back so last question about the run, the young running backs that'll be coming in they may not have the game experience but they will benefit from being behind an experienced offensive line that's got to be key yeah most definitely um, the offensive line will be great um, you know, even though they, a lot of guys don't have game, game experience, um, you know, I practice with them every day, you know, so they've been watching me, you know, for two or three years, you know, like Nick Hill and Jeremy Langford. Like, those guys know um, what to expect um, once they get in the game, and um, those guys going to deliver. Um, they're going to help that offensive line out. You know, the offensive line especially going to help them out, and, um, you know, and the defense going to do, do what they do. You know, they're going to be good, so.